Hello guys, welcome back to Drills Point. We are in our mid of video lecture discussing about the application run for Android. This video is focusing on the progress bar. So, what is the progress bar? If you have if you have downloading something, then you show then you see a progress bar like this, which uh, states how much progress has been done based on the download. Uh, whatever the download has been done. So, a progress bar is to use to show the progress of a task. Uh, it can be downloading something from the internet or uploading. Or even if you know you are uh, opening a file, then also it shows the progress bar. So now let's see how do we actually uh, get a progress bar. We get a progress bar using the progress bar dialog. We add this dialog in our activity file or in the main activity.java file. So before that, we first get up a studio, open up the studio, uh, start a new Android application, create name the application, and then after that, we go to the main file, just add a button so that you know on the click of the button we can start the progress bar. We add the proper, uh, on click of the button, we show the progress bar in the minactivity.java file and then we launch the emulator and we are good to go. So let's see, let's see the structure. This is a normal activity underscore main XML file. This is nothing having but just a button to trigger the progress bar. So after this, we come over here. Now let's see how can we start and how can we work on the progress bar. On click of the button, we are starting the download uh, function. It is having, a, we have already have the progress bar dialog. We have named this dialog as progress. We make the new object of the progress bar. We set the message of the, uh, what message we want to show. Like we want to show the download, downloading music. After this, we set the style. We want the progress bar to be horizontal in nature. We set the intermediate, inter, uh, indeterminate position. We set it as true the current progress we set as uh, zero. After this, we click on show. Show actually helps us to understand and to you know to launch this pro proper progress bar onto the uh, UI or onto the layout. So now uh, what we have done is here we are running a thread which would continue to run on its own and would uh, increase the progress bar one by one. Here you can also have your own app, your own, uh, based on your own task completion, you can here work on the uh, increasing or the progress of the progress bar. So what we have done here, we have taken a new thread. In the thread, we have implemented the run method. And here we, are try we have started that till the jump time is less than the total progress time. Total progress time is 100. We have taken the constant it over here. After that, at every point in time, whenever we are coming over here, we have increased the jump time by five. And we are setting this jump time in our progress bar. With this, we would be able to increase the progress bar by five after every time it comes into the thread and it's run. And the sleep is happening for 200 uh, milliseconds, which means after every 200 milliseconds, the thread is calling itself and is increasing the jump by uh, five. So when we, uh, so when we uh, start the thread, the thread starts its execution and the progress bar progress is getting increment one, one after the other, one by one continuously. So uh, this is, if you remember the last time you use the show method, when you use the toast, you can recall from there that when you use the toast, you use the show method to render a particular layout or particular dialogue onto a UI. It is a similar is the case here. We are creating a dialogue and we are showing it into our UI on the top of the layout. So guys, this was all about the progress bar in the, uh, in the video. Now let's quickly go to our Android Studio and see the actual working of the progress bar. Hello guys, welcome back again. Uh, as we have just seen about the progress bar, like how progress bar looks like, how we can use it. So in this session, we would be actually seeing the working of a progress bar. We would be creating a progress dialog and would be uh, starting a dialog on the click of a button. So for that, let's first go to our activity underscore main.xml. This is my activity underscore main.xml. This is my download button that I have taken. On click of this button, the application should start a progress bar. So this is my on create method. Here what I do is I first take a progress dialog. I name it as progress. Then I take up a function Now to link this function to this particular button. 
how do I do that so this is my shown this is showing over here now in this one I start with first initializing the object with the constructor after this I set the message after that I can even set the style After this I simply set the current progress as 0 and then I call the progress.show method. Now what should happen is on click of the button a new progress should form with a message as downloading music, the style should be horizontal, indeterminate should be true and the progress should be 0 and it should show up on the screen. So now let me open up the application in my phone and see how my application works and how the progress bar looks like. So the application has been run on my phone. Yeah. So the application is running on the phone. See, I click this button. I get a progress bar saying that it is downloading music 0% progress in 0 by 100. You can even control this progress bar using threads as I already explained to you. That would be the component of ed of controlling the progress or that would be a different concept altogether. Let me try and change the style. let me run this one I already run it now let me see how it works I click this one and I'm able to see the downloading music in the spinner format so guys this is how we work on a progress bar the, the show method is used to render the dialog on the screen as we have already discussed it so guys that was all about the progress bar for from our site thank you for tuning in stay tuned as we'll be taking you through the other controls and the other application development concepts thank you